What's up, YouTube? Bob here with Midnight Snack. Midnight Snack. It's, it's brought to you by thiscollegelife.com. We, we review a snack. It'd be easy to eat at midnight. It's usually something that's not going to be very expensive. In this case, it's definitely not expensive because this is coming from the dollar store. Uh, well, the sorry, the, the, do, the dollar tree. This comes from the dollar tree. I don't think there's a difference, although I've heard the dollar store might have things that actually cost more than a dollar. So that actually is kind of a big deal because Dollar Tree stuff, from what I understand from shopping there myself, is that it's actually all a dollar, like flat. Like this pizza was a dollar. 93 cents plus 7% Minnesota tax, I think. Anyway, doesn't matter. So yeah, today we're, we're looking at this Celeste pizza for one, which... Uh, it's microwavable pizza. It's you can cook it in the oven too. And the oven cooking instructions sound like the same. But, but uh, let's not get into that. Before we get into that, please do me a huge favor and just like make break the like button's legs. Um, please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm thing. And um, yeah. So anyway, moving on. Okay. So. So yeah, uh, Celeste, pizza for one, I imagine, and I know now because I looked up a story that as most of these things go, like Totino's and Jack's and stuff, a uh, person started making pizza, they were really good at it, they started a distribution company because maybe they realized they'd make a ton of money selling it to a larger conglomerate someday. Whatever the case was, whether business motivated, money motivated, or whatever, they just wanted to supply their pizza to as many places as possible. So it's pizza for one. Uh, that's what it looks like. I mean, it's not very big. This is like one quarter of, I think, a Jack's or maybe smaller, or maybe like a tombstone. Um, maybe it's like a fifth of a tombstone. But microwaves in two minutes, so you got that option. Um, it's perfect for eating late at night if you're hungry for something. Uh, this is the deluxe. They have other variations, but it's it's deluxe sausage, green and red peppers and mushrooms. Sausage made with pork, chicken added. So this sausage gives you the full experience. You get chicken and pork. Okay. Simply cook and serve. Keep it frozen. Um, this, yeah, again, bought it at the Dollar Tree. Uh, Dollar Tree has actually some decent food, so if you're trying to live on a budget, it's actually not a bad place to shop. You you can save some serious money by buying things that are like canned sauces, seasonings, and you get the same frozen type of stuff that you get elsewhere. I mean, they don't have like bigger pizzas. I think this is the only kind of pizza they have besides like Hot Pockets. But this one, I'd be lying if I said it didn't seem like it's going to be questionable of taste because it was a dollar, it's supposedly microwavable. You could put it in the oven too, but anyhow, so we got a good picture of the pizza. Um, it is enlarged to show quality, as many pictures on packages are. And um, yeah, so that's it. Deluxe, we got everything. Let's check the sides. The sides are all the exact same. Otherwise, there's a recommended use by, this pizza's good for a year which I think is fair. I mean, maybe this was in stock somewhere else and like they took what wasn't sold and moved it to the Dollar Tree or it was sold directly to them. I don't really know, but it's good for a year. And I bought this like two weeks ago. So I don't know who puts a pizza in their freezer and leaves it there for like more than a year. But if I was going to bring it home, I'd probably be eating it like the longest in three months of the time I buy it. So I'm okay with that. Um... Okay, so Celeste Pizza, for one, brings generations of authentic Italian taste and quality. Savor every bite with Mama's Zesty Sauce. And I guess Mama's Mama Celeste. So um, this would have been a woman who was around the time of my great-grandmother, who also was a super-duper 100% Italian, but did not start a massive pizza distribution company, which would have resulted in me being probably super spoiled and... Yeah, uh, we don't need to go down that road, but 
Okay, bursting with flavor of plump tomatoes and just the right amount of spices and popular toppings. So, yeah. Uh, on the back, we got all our toppings. Uh, you see a tomato, a pepper, some cheese, some sausage. Uh, nutrition facts. 360 calories. It's pretty, it, it's like a good snack size thing. And if you haven't made the like button, just kind of wish it never came out of the womb, I suggest you please do that because that'll move us around the needle or something, YouTube algorithm. But yeah, like button if you wouldn't mind. Thank you. Um, so I'm just going to go through the ingredients real quick. It's frozen pizza, so it's what you'd expect as far as not great ingredients go. Yeah, but uh, real quick. Uh, so we got the crust, malted wheat flour. That actually sounds good. I don't know what that... Yeah, uh, shortening flake, never heard of that. Uh, beta carotene, always sounds like kerosene, but yeah, I, yeah. Um, Renette casein, blah, 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 okay. Dextrose, there's lots of questionable sounding things in this, and it also costs a dollar, so I still think it's going to be good, or at least okay. Um... 19% of your daily fat, 35% of your daily saturated fat recommendation, 30% of your daily sodium, 9 grams of protein. So this is a good, this is really a nice little snack. It's If you want to change things up from Hot Pockets, this looks like it could be good. So anyway, um, you no longer need a mic microwave disc, no longer required. You no longer need a microwave disc for this. Which is good, I guess. I don't, I don't know if that's a thing. Um, must it used to be, I guess. Um, okay, just take the pizza out, put it on a microwave-safe plate uh, for an 1100 watt oven. Cook it for two minutes. Okay. Two minutes. Uh, conventional oven. Place baking sheet in the rack. We're not gonna do the oven, but 14 to 16 minutes. Once the oven's preheated. Pre oven to 400 degrees, whatever. Let's rip it open and see what's going on in here. Okay. I'm actually kind of impressed by this. Like, it looks kind of good looking. Um, seriously, the sausages look pretty good. Um, it Like, on the bottom of it, it does kind of look like a heating coil on, like, an older stove that uses coils. Like, if you look up close, you can see, like, rings. Um, but it comes in this bag, so it's... In that regard, it's like a hot pocket. Um, there's things on here that I think are mushrooms that look a little questionable. But other than that, I mean, it looks like a decent pizza. Just like a little little micro pizza. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to go cook this. I'm going to come back. We're going to see what happens. See if it's good. See if it's not good. I cross my fingers that I know what our microwave's wattage is and this is the right amount of time but we shall return and we're back we have returned and the pizza is cooked I think it is at least I put it in for two minutes turned the wattage up high I couldn't see if it was like 1100 or not but the pizza looks cooked um and if you haven't done it too please go just like take one of these pizza cutter baseball bats and like make the like button like break the like button's femur bone so it can't go anywhere else and it has to stay on the video in the liked position so anyway uh, i'm gonna cut this and i'm gonna take a bite and see if this is better than a totino's party pizza because yeah um okay doing it in four squares microwavable pizza Crusty Crab Pizza is the pizza. The cheese is, uh, kind of tastes like fake nacho cheese. Oh boy. Okay. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. I wonder if I did something wrong. The crust is like soggy. 
Like, it's not even crusty. I mean, it's like... I feel like Hot Pockets are better than this. Like, they come out of the microwave. I guess this is kind of like what pizza rolls are like. The cheese kind of tastes like fake cheese, but like really fake cheese. Like, the kind of cheese where in the factory where they're making it, everybody has to wear, like, breathing masks because if they don't, then the, like... The fumes will kill people. Um, so. I'm not sure if this can actually be called pizza. Um, but And yes, this is a mason jar. It's full of water. Wow. This is. Um, Yeah, I mean, I'm going to eat the whole thing because I want to feel terrible now because the first bite was so bad. I figure I might as well just go all the way in. Um, <clears throat> it tastes familiar. It's like the nacho cheese when you buy nachos at like a sporting event, like a baseball game. It's like baseball game nacho cheese. Um, okay, so, <clears throat> yeah. Um, well, this was definitely, like, the length of time it needed to be in there, too, because it was, like, getting real cooked right when it came out. Like, it was molten cheese. All right, so the ingredients are terrible. Maybe I did something wrong, but it said two minutes. I was promised two minutes. I set the microwave to high. I don't think microwaving it any longer would have made it crispy. But either way, um, <clears throat> that's all I got. So if you want to hear next week um, about more food that you know, you maybe want to avoid or maybe you want to go buy, um, please smash the like button and just, just <sighs> smash the like button. Like I'm going to smash this pizza after I turn the camera off, even though it only tastes kind of okay. It's, it's pretty bad actually. Like on a, on an out of 10, it's a two out of 10. The, the sausage is good. That's it. The sausage is good. Everything else is just kind of like so yeah um that's that's it I, I don't recommend this for a midnight snack even it'll probably make you sick in the morning to tell you the truth it won't make you sleep well um uh, but yeah so as i said if you want to hear some stuff next week about what to buy what to avoid i'm probably going to do another one from the dollar tree because i'm sure i mean the last thing i got from the dollar tree was actually pretty good hershey's fillows cereal but um, either way, I will see you next time. Uh, I'm Bob. It's Midnight Snack. I, uh, I hope you have a good night.